God bless you. So, we're going to look at some verses just to show the importance of having no part in regards to what is known as sorcery. Understanding sorcery. Not being deceived by the world that normalizes sorcery and divination and all its magic practices. And if you can find that in anything you have that you think, oh, I, I enjoy that, I do this and do that, and then you find that's within it. Remember, have no part of evil but expose it. So do not be conformed to the world but be renewed in spirit. So we're going to go directly to Deuteronomy first. Just uh, Now there are many, many verses that show us about sorcerers, magic diviners and so forth. The importance to not be a part of it. But we're going to focus on a few select ones today. So over into Deuteronomy we shall go. We will be in chapter 18 of Deuteronomy. And we're going to start in verse 9. When you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire or one who practices witchcraft, or a soothsayer, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. For all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God. For these nations which you will dispossess, listen to soothsayers and diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed such for you. Now, this is Deuteronomy. So the person that likes to lay out their list of cards to see what their future holds, what did that just tell you? These things are an abomination to the Lord. Should you be doing them? Diviners, ones that try to work out what is to come, looking at omens, conjuring, spiritism, trying to conjure the dead. Witchcraft, the soothsayer, the sorcerer. We'll go into the word sorcerer later. But right now, do you think you should be playing with magic at all? And yes, I know there are many, 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 many programs that have been on telly over the years that have normalized it. Oh, but I used to watch such and such. And it was this really fun show. And it's just a kid show, just a little bit of fun when you come back from school. And it's like, well, no. Because what did that just tell you? So should you be watching it? There's your answer. Oh, but I got this board game and, you know, my favourite character is the sorcerer. And I, and I can use him with, with my dice and he can summon something to fight for me on my behalf. Your character's a sorcerer. Have no part with evil, instead expose it. You cannot drink from the cup of God and the table of demons doesn't say you can kind of or you a little bit. It says you cannot. So you've got to take it seriously. If you can find this in your day to day, you've got to remove it. Maybe 
you like to just kind of dwell on that page in the paper telling you oh well you know you were born at this time and such and such so this is what today is going to be for you maybe you think it's a little bit of harmless fun no we will do things that seem right in our own eyes but they lead to death so call on God and let him guide you and straighten your path do not be wise in your own eyes come to him as little children Jesus is the way, the truth and the life love God with all your heart, your mind and your strength because when you love you put God first now do you want to know where the sorcerers go let's find out we're going to go over to Revelation and in the book of Revelations we're going to be in chapter 21 and in chapter 21 we're going to go to verse 8 now but the cowardly unbelieving abominable murderers sexually immoral sorcerers idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone which is the second death now the sorcerers have their part there now let's learn a little bit more about the old sorcery we'll go to Revelation 18 and in chapter 18 it's verse 23 the light of a lamp shall not shine in you anymore and the voice of bridegroom and bride shall not be heard in you anymore for your merchants were the great men of the earth for by your sorcery all the nations were deceived not some nations the odd nation most nations all nations now is there anything to do with sorcery at the moment all nations and deception shall we find out because what does the word sorcery mean look in strongs and our number in strongs is 5331 and the word is pharmakia drugs poisons pharmacies is its direct translation of meaning witchcraft and magic potions a witch's brew if you will think about the things that go in it should we look at verse 24 and in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and of all who were slain on the earth now there's a certain business practice if you heard the slogan my body my choice your body was bought for a price and is not your own now the my body my choice is specifically a group that would like to do a certain something with little ones for for them they have no use for them so they think oh we'll just get rid of them like refuse and they go to a planned place for parents so they don't have to become them now these little ones are used in science a witch's brew now if you have read the book of Yashar you'll know in the time of Moses with the plagues that the sorcerers those men that were against Moses that were under Pharaoh during the time there was great illness and in the blood of the newborn they found life and healing and they took 375 newborns. It's not a new thing. Nothing that has been done is new. It's all been done before and will be done again. For there is nothing new under the sun. 
there will be no sorcerers because where do they go told you there the lake it's with their sorcery they deceived with their witches brews their potions their draughts all these wicked things and then with all of this Revelation 9 let's go into number 9 and in chapter 9 it's going to be verses 20 and 21 but the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of the works of their hands that they should not worship demons and idols of gold, silver, brass, stone and wood which can neither see nor hear nor walk and they did not repent of their murders or their sorceries or their sexual immorality or their thefts the unrepentant unrepentant for their sorceries and you know where the sorcerer goes and those that do not care now you know there is plenty of information and it is countless and innumerable all people with their own personal testimony of what they've gone through all the ailments they have had the sufferings and those that did not survive it they are countless and you know you can find this information I speak from all of this these people are unrepentant for it and they continue to do it and you see the cause and the effect you do this then this happens but then the persons that are the administers oh we don't know this could just be normal oh well and they carry on even though they see what is being done for they are unrepentant there is much to come woe to those who call evil good and good evil and up for down bitter for sweet they will have their place in the lake now the word pharmakia is drugs poisons pharmacies and the word sorcerer is strong's 5332 and that word is druggist poisoner pharmacist so if I was to reread Revelation 8 sorcerers would now be pharmacist and where would they be in the lake of fire and if I reread this verse in 9 20, 21, for they are unrepentant or their pharmacists the unrepentant concoctions and droughts and the devil comes to kill destroy and deceive he is the father of the lie and been a liar since the beginning now deception is rampant people take something they think is good but does something bad to them it's not good for them in the long run someone is given a medication of some sort and they can overdose on it take too much of it it has side effects from it oh it's meant to help with this but it's caused this if it's not good for you it's deception oh this eventually causes this issue and this ailment 
This eventually rots the liver, this one destroys this organ, this one affects the blood, all these things. Working on different ailments, but making a person worse, killing them. To kill, deceive and destroy, that is the devil. Do not be deceived, there's a reason they're in their place. This makes me think of something from many, many years ago, in my youth. I once went to get work, to work in a pharmacy. To work in the pharmacist bit where you dispense. Now, I've always been good in an interview, because I've always known what to say. I've always put my effort in. But this was the worst interview I'd ever had. Now, I've never thought much on it before, but today I think I see a little bit more. Now, in the interview, the person that was to interview me came in, and they seemed most unhappy to see me. I didn't look like this in those days. Clean shaven, sharp as can be, in one of my slickest suits as usual. And I'm there. And through the entire interview, she can't understand a word I say. I do mean she could not understand anything. It was as if I was speaking gibberish. She was going, oh, I can't understand anything you're saying. And she started to speak very loudly and very slowly. As if she was speaking to a man who did not know English in any way, shape or form. I remember at the time thinking, this was the worst interview ever. And that they were someone with quite a lot of prejudice. You understand what I'm talking about. All things happen for a reason. Now, I'm most fortunate I will not be able to be counted with the sorceress. Or should we say the pharmacists. But this, God has a plan. He knows better than we do. We will try and do things that seem right, but they lead to death. At the time, I was just looking for a job. Didn't know God, just living the world. But God is there for everyone. He's not far from anyone, though we may not realise it. When we get to know God, and we call on Him, He will deliver you. He will guide you, and He will strengthen you. Now, you know when there is condition and trouble and struggle and strife, we call on God in the name of Jesus, for the Holy Spirit to work in us, guide us, for us to be washed clean in the blood of the Lamb, that we may see clearly in the name of Jesus that has all authority on heaven and on earth to cast out and rebuke all wicked spirits and demons. In Jesus' name. Because our battle is spiritual. Those in the heavenly places. Spiritual darkness. In the end times, woe to those on the earth. The devil knows he has not long. And everything is ramping up very, very quickly. It's because it's ramping up quickly. We can see. If you notice how fast time is going how quick things have changed how people have changed how nations have changed so much prophecy is gearing up stand prepared stand faithful when you know better you do better we grow we learn God guides if you can find anything to do with sorcery that you did not realise before, do not be conformed to it. Be renewed in spirit. I remember my days. I used to play many a computer game. I couldn't play a single one now or even a board game that had anything to do with violence. Though I had a history in it. 
God is good and much changes when you find him. May he work in all your lives. This is just a study to show you the dangers of those practicing magic and sorcery. Looking at the diviners for television and music and every other industry has normalized it. They try and put it in your kids' cartoons. They try and put it in your kids' films, in your music, your TV shows, in your toys. Oh, look, you got the princess with her wand. There's all sorts. Oh, there you go. You've got your your special rune and staff and your wizard cape. Oh, it's just fancy dress. Be wise and not unwise, that you may be counted blameless. Be wise as a serpent, but innocent as a dove. Keep learning, keep growing. Cast off the world. Live in the spirit, not the flesh. This place is fading away. Nothing here will last. But God's word will. God bless you all.